guys and watch another video. I'm still sick, but I'm trying to get better. Look, I'm taking day cool right now before we even start the video so I can stop sneezing and coughing. Oh my God, I cannot take pills. Uh, I can't take pills, guys, since I was small. Okay, I think you put it in your mouth first, then you take water and drink it all at once. Welcome back to another video, guys. It is day three of Vlogmas. Holy crap, we are, we are doing it, bro. I don't know how, but we're making it happen. Yesterday's video was kind of boring. I'm sorry. The car meet, I thought it was going to be cool. We even drove all the way to Long Beach for that meet, and it was pretty freaking boring. Thankfully, I didn't drive. David drove, so if you didn't watch the last video, go watch it. It was okay. It was a cool little vlog. But we're trying to make another video today. I don't even know what we're doing. This is the hardest part about Vlogmas is that you don't have cool content every single day. So some of the vlogs are going to be lit. Some of the vlogs are going to be average. I'm going to try to make them cool for you. I know a lot of you guys say, just post anything. You're going to watch regardless. So I appreciate that. Right now we're about to head to the post office and ship all this merch. These are all the ski masks from Black Friday. It was only like half of them. We got to do the leather half. Probably shipping out tomorrow because... I ran out of freaking shipping labels. So I ordered some on Amazon. They should be here tomorrow at 4 a.m. I overnighted it. Half of the ski masks are going out right now. So if you guys ordered a ski mask on Black Friday, thank you. I appreciate it. New merch shop should be coming soon. It was supposed to be like this month, in the beginning of this month, but that didn't happen. And uh, I'm trying to figure it out right now. So another update though. Very, very good update. Look at this. You guys see it? I hope you guys are able to see that. Sheesh! My GTR is getting worked on. <laughs> I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry, but yeah, look, the transmission and then my GTR. I'm so excited, bro. I cannot wait to get it back, but that's a good sign. So today he's working on it and uh, Chris moves fast. I know it doesn't seem like it was fast because it's been like two months or so, but he's busy. He's not working on just my GTR. He has multiple GTRs he's working on at a time. He's a one-man shop. He does all by himself, but he knows his stuff when it comes to GTR. So I told him don't rush it, even though it's been a long time. I told him don't rush it. I want to make sure it's perfect before I get the GTR back. But he finally has some room on the lift, so he put my GTR on there today and he's getting to work and going to try to get it out in and out quick because he has other customers as well so hopefully this is a good sign and hopefully i get it back very soon i think it'll be very soon i'm not gonna lie from the looks of this and him working on it already probably a week or maybe less so we'll see but look at this what the there's not even any room for the gtr bro look at all this christmas stuff shirts on the website if you guys want them go right now they're still on sale too by the way look probably not the best thing i should be drinking right now while i'm sick but <clears throat> we got some dutch bros that should wake me up too because i'm freaking tired guys and that shit i swear they put crack in it <laughs> it wakes you up like crazy i think we're gonna head home and make this little cool video for you guys i actually have got a ton of people asking me like what my tattoos mean or like how they feel or what i want to get next topics about my tattoos and i've seen other people do it on youtube do like a tattoo tour i think i'm gonna do that if you guys are interested in the tattoos or want a tattoo as well cool little video idea i'm just trying to throw out ideas guys think of some different stuff for the channel that's some different content because i know the carmy stuff gets repetitive bro there's another carmy today and i think there's one tomorrow too but bro, i don't even want to go i'm so over carmy's guys and i'm pretty sure you guys are over watching them too <laughs> so we gotta start thinking of cool like video ideas guys you know what we're talking about hold on let me park right now so i can explain this crazy idea that we have i want to do a water fast guys <laughs> first of all i barely even eat anyway so i feel like it won't be that hard for me i seen like dana white doing you guys probably saw it. dana white posted something that he didn't eat for like 72 hours only water and it's supposed to be like super healthy for you i think it's supposed to put like your body into like a what did he say i can't remember exactly but almost a state of shock yeah so your body kind of freaks out like yo where's the food at why are you not feeding me so it starts like killing off bad cells and getting new cells in your body and obviously fleshing out your body too. I don't know, it's supposed to be really healthy. They said it can even help cure cancer, or like help yeah. fight cancer so that yeah. if you do this, you're like 70% chance of not having cancer, right? 
something like that. And other Which diseases too. Crazy. That is crazy. So Alzheimer's. I mean, it's actually like it's not just Dana White saying it. Like it's actually like doctors saying it. I started like looking at it more because I'm super paranoid, guys. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm gonna die. Hell no. But I started looking into it more, and bro, I think it's true. They said you should do it like two times a year, and fast. 72 hours, bro. I want to try it. We might do it tomorrow. And I heard that the first like day or two. It is rough, like you start getting tired and you're sleepy and you might get a headache. But you just gotta drink a lot of water and like electrolytes and stuff like that. Then after like day two or something, you start feeling better and you start feeling like energized. And then after it's complete, like the 72 hours, you feel like literally like a new person supposedly. And you feel amazing. I want to try it though. I mean, why not try it? Imagine I get like not sick anymore. I would love to see how I feel. That's the only reason why. And it'll be cool to document it. So we might try it tomorrow. I'll let you guys know tomorrow's vlog when we start it if I am doing the fast or not. But we. We might just eat like our last meal tonight and then tomorrow morning start the fast. Let me know if you guys have ever done something like that. I don't know. All right guys, so time has passed. I got a haircut by the way, you guys can probably tell. And look, I'm cutting off all the blonde guys. There's almost no more blonde left. It's almost black. Oh my God. It's almost gone. We're gonna re-bleach it though because I actually like the silver. It was pretty sick. Let's go over my tattoos guys. So like I said, a lot of people have asked about my tattoos. You guys have noticed I've been getting tattoos lately. And I feel like I did it pretty quick. I think I've only had tattoos for about like a year or two, maybe. If you guys didn't watch any of the videos of me getting tattooed, I'm gonna go over some of the tattoos that I have. And also go from first to last, like what I've done so far. And I'll talk about like some other tattoos I wanna get in the future. But anyways, let's do it. All right, so starting from the first tattoo, I believe, oh wait, it wasn't even these. Yeah, it was this one. I forget. <laughs> but this is my first tattoo, guys. This cross on my head or my face, whatever you wanna call it. Is this technically my face? I feel, I feel like, like it is because it's past my ear. Did I get a face tap for my first tattoo? It was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It was very spontaneous. I think we were driving by the tattoo shop and uh, I was with David and David was like, let's just go in there and get a tattoo. And yeah, I just wanted something small because first I just wanted to feel how a tattoo would feel. It was my first tattoo ever. I look clean like this because I always get like bald fades. So, like you can see the tattoo clearly. I think it looks sick. I don't know. I like the placement and I've had that one for like two years, I think. I was gonna put like blessed all the way down, but like I was just too big. So that's why I just did it across. And it was clean. And David actually got the same one. I don't know if you guys have noticed in the vlogs, but David has the same exact tattoo. We did it on the same day. It was pretty cool. My next tattoo was actually a big piece. A lot of people, if you watched that video, they were like, damn, you're crazy for doing such a big piece. But we have Jesus right here, Jesus piece. We have him on the cross. Uh, he kind of looks ripped, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, he got abs over here. But it looks sick. And again, oh, before we even get into all that, shout out to my boy Joey, because he did all my tattoos except for my knuckles and my cross that was one other artist only two artists has done tattoos on me but my boy joey did this my whole sleeve and this is my first tattoo this is when i first met him he also has a gtr and an f80 which is crazy but i love like the detail in the face and the beard and all that it looks pretty sick and this is probably the most painful part right here in this little ditch Woo, shit hurt it was like literally bleeding bro yeah, i think i should talk about the pain though huh? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys about the tattoo and then i'm gonna talk about how painful it was so this is my first one it literally took like five minutes to do this cross. It literally didn't take anything. It was also $100 <laughs> to do this little ass cross. Can you believe that? But the pain on that, I would probably say like, probably like a six. It wasn't that bad. It just felt like he was carving into my head. Like I had to lay my head down and he was like carving into that shit. That was kind of painful, but like a six. Then this is like my first big tattoo and I'm gonna say this one was probably like, probably like a seven. It was pretty painful, I'm not gonna lie. How long did it take? I think like seven hours. I think they all took around seven hours, all of them. The very next day, guys, I went back and did this side of the arm, which is insane because most people, when they get tattoos, they wait like a couple weeks for your first tattoo to heal, and then you go back for another session. I went the very next day, so think about how swollen my hand was. My arm was like this swollen, and I had to come back and touch this side now, and this side was so swollen. I literally had to lay it down on the, on the mat, whatever, on the fresh tattoo, so that was painful. On top of that, getting this side tattooed, it was ridiculously painful, but it was cool, because like in two days, I had like a full half sleeve. It was pretty crazy. But this side, we have a rose and a skull. This one looks pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is like when I'm bending my elbow like this, people are like, why do you have a bald spot? But it's actually the skull's head, look. <laughs> but the skull came out fire. I've always wanted a skull. At first, I wanted to do a whole skull on my whole back, but we ended up just doing it right here. I think it looks sick. It kind of means like life and death and like the beauty ugly i don't know but i love it i've always wanted a rose tattoo and i've always wanted a skull tattoo so that's why we did both and i think it looks sick i love how he did the rose in the skull it's just fire and the paint on this one probably like a six maybe it's always gonna be painful guys tattoos hurt but it's doable everyone that tells me like did it hurt or they're like i don't want to get tattoos it hurts too much it's not that bad like you can handle it and i'm a big baby guys i don't like drawing blood i don't like needles i don't like pain but 
for some reason, I kind of like the tattoo pain. It's, it's a weird thing, bro. For those of you that have tattoos, you guys know what I mean. Like, it's weird. You get like addicted to pain. You want to go back and get more tattoos. Like, it's really weird, but I can sit through them like nothing. But this one was also another seven hours. What do you guys think that was? A Honda? Truck? I don't even know what that was. But this is like a little angel in here. It's kind of hard to see. I feel like it's like a tattoo that you never get to see because it's like in my armpit. Look, like you don't even see it, but I got an angel here to match with the Jesus and I feel like she's like looking down on Jesus. And this probably might be one of my most painful tattoos, I'm, I gotta say, because that shit's like almost my armpit. Like, literally my armpit. We had to start in that stupid crease again, so that was painful. But then when we worked our way up, God damn, bro, this is like the last part he was going and I remember he was just like rubbing it, like over and over shading it. Literally, it was turning raw. He was calling it hamburger meat. Like it was red and pink. Like it was disgusting. He was just like, just rubbing it. Like a seven and then it turned into like maybe a nine right here. The re really end was like a nine, dude. And that again was also another seven hour tattoo right there. Then I think I did my knuckles. We didn't do this yet. I did my knuckles. I went straight to my hands. I've always wanted my fingers tattooed. I don't know why. I think it just makes you look like you're really tatted. <laughs> but again, I remember I told you guys in one of the vlogs that I kind of don't like the way people look at you. I think mainly the knuckles. Like, you know, like the old school thug life. That's why I feel like people look at me like, this dude's a thug. <laughs> I feel like sometimes people judge me, they look at me, but I mean, as long as you're doing something in your life, I think, fuck it, just do it. The reason I started getting like crazy tattoos, like at first I was skeptical because like my dad was very old school, guys. He did not like tattoos. He was mad about my earrings too. Like when I first pierced my ears, he was like, bro, did I raise another daughter? <laughs> He's very old school. You guys know how dads are. Growing up, he grew up in like East LA. So like everyone with tattoos were like cholos and gangbangers and stuff like that. So that's why he has a bad impression on tattoos. But I think once he's seen me like, the stuff I'm doing in life and he's proud of me. He accepted it, but but what I was saying though is like, I remember seeing like uh, Little Sky's song. I always say this, and one of Little Sky's song, he got face tattoos and he says like, I got tattoos on my face, I use that shit as motivation. I can never get a job, so for my dream I'm dedicated. It's kind of true, like you have a face tattoo, I can't get no regular job at this, so I have no choice but to pursue my dreams and stuff like that and become an entrepreneur myself. Cause that's the only people that's gonna hire me with tattoos myself. It can maybe motivate you and push you to follow your dreams. But I got lit fast tatted on my knuckles. I didn't know what to put. I really didn't know what to put, but I wanted my hands so bad. And then one day I was like, you know what? Maybe like live fast. You know, like that flying live fast, die young. Obviously I ain't trying to die young, but but you gotta live fast guys. The real meaning behind live fast, die young is like, just be reckless. Don't think of things too much. You gotta be reckless guys. And you can't think of things much. Like just do it guys. Especially like in, like, in terms of like following your dreams too. Oh, yeah. Like don't think about it guys. Like literally just, Go for it, don't think too much, just live fast because life is too short guys and you gotta just, you gotta go for things. Also fast like in terms of cars too, I love being, going fast, driving fast, I want the fastest car, I want the fastest dirt bike. Like I want fast everything, you know what I mean? I like going fast, so that's another thing, but I love the live fast thing and that's also why I put on all the merch stuff too, so I love it. I think it's a cool like saying and I think it's a cool way to live, is to live fast. The paint on the knuckles though, oh my God. This has to be my most painful tattoo I've ever got. And I low-key have to go back to get it touched up because you guys can see that. It's kind of fading, but I'm scared to go back guys because that shit is painful. The knuckles for sure were like one out of 10, it was an 11. I swear, I'm not even joking. This one right here was probably the most painful. You guys see how bony my hands are? There's no meat. Like I'm literally touching the bone and when he was tattooing, it felt like he was tattooing bone, not my skin. Like it literally felt like he was touching the bone. But he was going so deep that I can feel vibrations of the tattoo touching my bone and I can feel it in my elbow. It was the weirdest feeling and it was so painful. One out of 10, it was probably 11, I swear. Loki took a long time, I'm not gonna lie. It took like three, four hours. You would think that it would take like 10 minutes, but bro, to line everything up perfectly straight and size it and draw it out, uh, the same guy who did my knuckles is the guy who did this. He's good at like writing and stuff like that. That's like one of my favorite tattoos though. I love the knuckles. That shit looks sick. And then, at the same time, same day, I did my mom's name as well. Cause I was like, you know what? We're already on my hands. Might as well do it. So we did my mom's name next. Of course, I gotta get my mom's name. She's my mom's and uh, she was so happy. She literally cried. Like she Aww. was literally, had, she had tears, bro. She was super happy. And uh, I think, I love it right there. I think it looks clean. Super nice. Right? So I love that. Maybe do something on this side, I don't know yet. That one, uh, not painful at all. Loki, that shit was probably like a four or five. It did not hurt at all. Then I went back to my homie Joey again and we finished up my sleeve. This was like right before Hawaii too. Like literally like two weeks before Hawaii. I told me I have an opening, you wanna come? But I was like, bro, I go to Hawaii in two weeks. And if you guys know, you're not supposed to go in like oceans or pools or water or anything because your tattoo can get infected and stuff like that, especially in the sun. And I was like, are you sure? He's like, bro, you'll be fine two weeks. We had like two weeks 
on the dot. We were pushing it, but he's like, let's go, let's start now. So I went, we got a dove. Honestly, not that much meaning to it, to be honest. A lot of people call you stupid, but bro, tattoos don't have to have a meaning, dude. Like, I just like the look of the artwork too, like the artist and all that stuff like that. But we got a dove, we got some clouds and stuff like that. It looks cool. And then right here, it looks kind of scary, right? But it's actually the Virgin Mary, and she has a veil over her face. So it's called the Veiled Mary. It's actually a statue, I think, like somewhere. The statue of this, and he pretty much copied it. And that, she has a veil over her face. It does look a little scary. That's why I kind of like the look of it. Like it looks kind of like eerie. Is that the word? This is literally the least painful spot everyone told me, and it's true. It's probably like a six, two. I mean, that's painful, but like, it's not compared to other spots. It sucks because I don't really show this arm enough. Like I feel like I never get to see it because it's always covered, especially this part. But. It does look cool when I take my shirt off. But like seven hours, seven hours, seven hours, seven hours. God damn. Probably like almost close to 30 hours on this room. How crazy is that? That's 30 hours. 30 hours in the shop. That is crazy, bro. I said he's probably tired too. Yeah, I feel bad for my tattoo artist too. Like, <laughs> you gotta think we're tired. Like at the end of the tattoo, you're like, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. Like all this pain and adrenaline. Cause you get super tired after a tattoo, guys. You get like almost like in a weird state. Like, bro, you're just like out of it. You're like, whoa, dude, I'm tired. And I think it's cause you're so like, have so much adrenaline and your body's in shock. Like the first 20 minutes is painful. Right when the needle touches you, you're like, oh my God, here we go again. Or like your first time, you're like, damn, this hurts. Why am I doing this? <laughs> like I kind of regret doing this, but you can't stop. So 20 minutes in, it's like painful. After like the good first hour, you're chilling. And then second hour, third hour, fourth hour goes by so fast. Like you don't even realize the hours going by. But then once you're on like hour number six, seven, eight, bro, that's when it starts getting bad. That's when like, the adrenaline starts wearing off. Last 30 minutes, you start getting like shivers. It's the weirdest thing. You start getting cold and you start shaking sometimes. And my tattoo artist told me, you're just in shock sometimes. Your body just doesn't want to get tattooed no more. She's like, oh, bro, that's it. She want to tap out, but I've never tapped out of a tattoo, fun fact, ever. And I've never used numbing cream either. A lot of people ask me, never use numbing cream at all. It's pretty recent. You guys remember this? Probably like a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Probably a month ago. It went back longer? <laughs> Way longer. I don't know, dude. The weeks be going so fast, dude, but quite a little bit over a month ago, okay? Yeah, we did this first. You guys might think it's Zeus, but it's actually Poseidon. I know it looks like Zeus. Poseidon and Zeus almost look the same, but Zeus is like the god of all gods, which is cool, but Poseidon is like the gods of the ocean, the water, the sea. If you guys know me, or you guys saw the Hawaii vlogs, I freaking love the ocean, bro. I love the ocean. I'm like a little fish, bro. I love snorkeling. We went on like a snorkeling excursion thing, and it was with a hell of people, like hell of hell of people, probably like, 100 people on the boat. I was the first person in the water and the last person out the water. Like I was all the way in the ocean by myself. And the boat was about to leave. And I was the only one out there still by myself swimming, looking at all the fish. Cause I just love the water, bro. So I think that's dope. And I also like that he's like very powerful and brave and all that stuff. He's like, he's a God, you know, he's, he's that guy. And I also love the artwork of this. I've always seen people get like Zeus and Poseidon tattoos. And I just love how it looks. Again, tattoos don't have that, that much meaning, but I love the look of them too. Like I've always loved this tattoo. And on the inside, we also got a lion, which I was gonna do like a realistic lion, but Joey's like, I think you should stick with like a statue of a lion. It'll kind of fit the theme, you know? So we did a statue of a lion and I also wanted a lion because of that reason too, like the power and being brave and being a leader. And I feel like I have a lot of those traits in me. For sure. <laughs> but I just love lions. I love how they're literally like the king of the jungle, bro. Yeah, that's pretty much all my tattoos. Hopefully you guys like them. I want to get so much more, but I want to finish this arm. I just got to figure out what I want next. That's the biggest thing. I would have so much tattoos by now, but I just don't know what to get. It's so hard to think of ideas, bro. I'm on Pinterest or Instagram. Always trying to come up with ideas. Comment down below. Give me some ideas for tattoos, guys. Um, but I want to finish my arm next, maybe, or my leg. I want to start my leg. I know that shit's going to hurt, though. I've seen so many people tell me that the legs are like the worst. Maybe one whole leg probably the other leg eventually. And then for sure, I wanna do my back. I wanna do the entire back. That shit looks sick when people do their back. Probably my whole chest and stomach eventually one day too. I literally wanted to be fully covered one day, but I'm working my way. Still got a lot more to go. Tattoo artist Joey told me he has like, what did he say? Like a hundred and something hours on him or maybe more. I think we had 200 hours, 300 hours. Something crazy. Like he has hours and hours and hours on him of work of tattoos. I'm catching up though, not gonna lie. Seven, seven. Okay, 14. Seven, seven. 28 hours. 42 hours of my arms. And, and then this, probably like another four hours. 46. Holy shit. And this, five minutes. <laughs> Almost 50 hours of tattooing. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that little video. Very different vlog than usual. And I also just want to show off my tattoos. I feel like I don't show them off uh, enough, especially the ones that you don't really see. He I also have one on my butt, but I can't show you. Just he kidding. says he doesn't feel tatted. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know if it's just because it's me. And like I look in the mirror every day, but like I feel like I don't have tattoos. Like, do I look tatted? 
Yes. I told him that's like the first sign of addiction. I'm addicted? I'm an addict? It's because I see other people with like sleeves and like their necks tatted and stuff like that. And I'm like, damn it, they look blasted, bro. You have two full sleeves. Almost. I got a sleeve and a half. Eventually, I do want to do my neck. I know that sounds crazy. I know a lot of you are going to say, don't do it. But I just love the artwork of tattoos, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Very different vlog, but I'm just trying to keep these daily vlogs going. I'm trying to continue the vlogmas. And I also just want to film different things. Maybe get different types of audiences watching or just do different videos for you guys make it more interesting and not just very repetitive car meets and stuff like that. But if you guys enjoyed that video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what's your favorite tattoo of mine, comment down below what tattoos I should get next. Give me some ideas, I need your help. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next video, peace. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.